Ghana Oil Company Goyal has introduced a new logo to create greater affinity with customers and to position the company ahead of competition on the market. In line with this, the oil marketer intends increasing its current market share of 23% to 35% in two years. The new logo, represented by a dynamic action denoting G, is made from blades of a wind vane in various shades of orange, with Goyal written in a special font below it in charcoal grey and good energy also below the goil in a smaller font also in charcoal grey. Quote, the corporate color remains orange to reflect the goodness of the sun and the energy it provides for all. Mr. Kojubonsu, board member and chairman of the rebranding committee of goil, told reporters in Accra last week. The Kumasi airport has undergone a couple of renovations in recent times. However, sources say that the minor works at the airport will be undertaken at night throughout 2013. This is the second time this year that the airport has been closed for major repair works. It is noteworthy that the Kumasi airport does not operate in the night since there is no light on the tarmac at night. Multi TV has organized its 2012 annual auto show at the Trade Fair Center. The show brought together the automobile giants who display the latest in their respective range. The event has really come to stay as it seems to be the official platform for the industry to interact with the general public. Tens of thousands of flat cars that have been submerged in salt water and contaminated by bacteria and various toxins will soon start to appear all over the country and in other African states. Flat cars are inherently unsafe and pose a serious risk to anyone who drives them, rides in them, or even just comes into contact with them, experts say. Flat cars are basically rotting from the inside out. The electronic or computer systems which control everything including the brakes, engine, airbags and other major safety systems are hopelessly compromised and will inevitably corrode and fail over time. Bacteria, mold and other contaminants can cause serious or fatal health problems particularly among children and adults with asthma and people with allergies or compromised immune systems. Here are some tips for consumers on how to avoid flat car scams. 1. Be on the lookout for both new and used cars with telltale signs of having been submerged, musty smell or overperfumed, silt in places like under carpeting, in the well where the spare is stored or title histories indicating the car was in the flood area. 2. Check prior to purchase. This is the official website for the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System, established by the U.S. Department of Justice, where insurers, self-insured entities, salvage pools or auctions, and junkyards in all 50 states must report all total loss vehicles within 30 days, many report daily. 3. If the vehicle is relatively new or still within the factory warranty period, get the VIN number and call the manufacturer to ask if they will honor the warranty. If it's a flat car, they won't honor the warranty, even if it's new. Insist on getting confirmation in writing that the manufacturer will honor the warranty before you buy. 4. Get any car inspected by a trustworthy auto technician, for example, one who gets consistently high ratings in car talks mechanics files before you buy. And five, test drive the car before you buy. Be watchful for signs the car is hesitating, running rough, smells musty, has telltale signs of silt or premature rust in places where you wouldn't expect to see rust. The Q7 is a full-size luxury crossover SUV. It offers seating for seven, a pair of powerful supercharged V6s, and an efficient turbo diesel motor that returns 28 mpg on the highway. Despite its oversized dimensions, the big crossover avoids looking like a box thanks to sleek styling elements such as a tapering roofline and upswept character lines running along the base of the doors. While the exterior styling fools the eye into making the vehicle seem smaller than it is, the interior, in reality, is smaller than one might expect. 
While the first two rows are spacious and comfortable, the third row seats are best suited for children and only 10.2 cubic feet of cargo space is available with all seats in the upright position. The dashboard is uncluttered and modding and a host of advanced technology features are available. New features for the latest model year include the latest version of Audi's MMI infotainment interface and Audi Connect which makes the crossover a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot and also includes access to Google Maps complete with panoramic views and high-resolution 3D satellite and aerial imagery. The base Q7 features a 280 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque supercharged 3.0-litre V6. This engine will take the Q7 from a stop to 60 miles per hour in 7.7 seconds, while fuel economy is rated at 16 mpg in the city and 22 mpg on the highway. Standard across the latest Q7 line, you will find a plethora of features such as Servotronic Speed Sensitive Steering, 8-speed Tiptronic Automatic Transmission, Electronic Differential Lock, Adaptive Air Suspension, Front and Rear Vented Disc Brakes, Anti-Theft Alarm, Heated Windshield Nozzles, Power Tailgate, Leather Seats, iPod, Bluetooth and Sirius Radio Connectivity and more. Regardless of the engine choice, the behemoths are limited to 130 mph top speeds. ABS and EDB enhanced four-wheel ventilated disc brakes are also standard, though the Prestige trim comes standard with upgraded brakes for maximum stopping power.